Federal police, with the help of the Dutch and a trusted few in the New South Wales Crime Commission, relentlessly targeted Standen. Always fearful, the operation would leak. Standen would constantly ask Jalalati for money. Hi, mate. Is there anything happening on that uh, deposit front? Because I know it's nothing's, nothing's uh, surfaced there. No, 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 I got that. I got that last night. The uh, your numbers when I got home while I'm staying at Paddington. Yeah, because it, it takes like 24 hours to happen. Uh, no, we're, we're, I'm, I'm direct depositing it today. Yeah, but they go in overnight, see, so it still won't go until tomorrow. You reckon? Despite a salary of around 250 thousand a year, Standen's debts were huge and his spending lavish. Standen later claimed he made money gambling on horses. But investigators found evidence he was getting money from Kinch through Jalalati when they intercepted his computer at the Crime Commission and discovered a rich email exchange. In September 2007, federal police caught Standen and Jalalati in a muffled conversation. For the first time, the two were overheard discussing what sounded like a drug importation worth millions of dollars. Allowing for paying all, which is much better, 100 to 120 a kilo. That's the minimum of kilo, you pay 12 minutes. And he goes past with me. Because we get to get me a lot of business. He goes through, so he's a yeah. But Jalalati first had to get the trial rice shipment through from Pakistan to Sydney. G'day, mate. Hey, CEO. Next week I need to give you a uh, Christmas ham from Beaver to a nice Christmas ham, uh, you know, our famous Christmas hams. The best in the planet. A few days later, Standen got into Jalalati's car near the Crime Commission, not realising it was bugged. Police then heard Jalalati hand him a box. Inside was a huge ham and a bundle of cash. At this critical point, Standen called a senior colleague in customs. His pretext was a dubious tip-off from Kinch about another drug shipment from China. The police believed Standen was trying to see if the syndicate had been sprung. Mark Standen. Hey, Mark Steve. Hey Steve, how are you doing? Good, thanks, Self. Not bad, thanks for coming back. Steve, we've got, a, we've got an informer who has a very good history with us. Um, he lives in Europe. Yeah. All he knows is that it's crystal MDMA and it's in a consignment of, of bath salts from China. In the underground car park of Sydney's elite crime fighting agency, a police tape recorder is switched on and a brilliant law enforcement career killed off. Oh, Mark, I want you to listen to me very carefully, OK? We're here to arrest you for conspiring to import into Australia a commercial quantity of border control precursors. Do you understand that? I begin with you. I'm not, mate. I'm deadly serious. Do you understand that? Is it GIA? No, it's not. Do you understand that? You're now under arrest. You're not obliged to say or do anything there's anything you say or do, may be given in evidence. Do you understand that? Yes, go ahead, Chair. Paul's going to put this on you. Really? Yes. Why? At the front. Why? 